everyone, I'm Laura from Doggy U, and I'm a certified guide dog mobility instructor, trick trainer, and service dog trainer. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to train one of my favorite silly tricks, the smoosh. Smoosh is one of those insanely fun tricks that makes for great pictures, a good laugh, and it's one of the tricks on the AKC Advanced Trick Dog title. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to train your dog to take silly smoosh pictures. And I'm actually gonna teach you two different ways to teach it because Every dog and handler is different, and it's always good to have options. Before we get started, in this video, I use mark to me and click, or use the word yes to mark your dog for the behavior that we like, and then you're going to follow that up with a tasty treat. Yes! If you wanna learn more about marker training and how it can level up your dog training game, check out the video in the description below. And once you do train it, make sure that you tag us over on Instagram at doggy.u so I can share your funny and silly smoosh pictures up on my stories. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with a technique called shaping. I'm gonna have you make a little flag with painter's tape or a sticky note on the end of it. We're going to use that to teach the dog to touch a target. To start, you're gonna mark any interaction with the flag. You can start with just clicking and rewarding for the dog looking at the flag, then getting close to the flag, and then touching the flag. We wanna get them being able to touch the flag no matter where we put it. Fun fact, you can actually use this foundation behavior to teach a variety of skills and tricks to your dog. Uh, I have a video on how to teach your dog to push closed doors and drawers and anything that's really open. So I'm gonna link that up here and down in the description so that you can teach your dog another fun trick with this one foundation skill. Once we have a dog that can reliably touch our little painter's tape flag, we're going to transfer that skill to our glass. So we're gonna get some glass. You can take a picture frame with no picture in it, or you can take like a Pyrex large casserole dish and use that as your glass for this trick. Be sure to use something that's safe for your dog and won't break if they boop it really hard. For some dogs, plexiglass might be the right choice. When we're teaching this portion of the trick, I like to use some sort of platform to help keep the dog's feet still and their mind focused. We're going to put the tape or the sticky note on the side of the glass that the dog's nose isn't going to touch. So it's going to be on your side of the glass. You're going to mark for any interaction with the glass with the goal of having the dog touch somewhere in the middle of the glass to take a good photo. There's a couple methods for getting rid of the target on the glass. You can start by ripping pieces of the painter's tape off until the target gets really small and eventually disappears. Or you can use a post-it note and put the post-it on, note on for one rep and then take it off for the next and then put it on for the next rep and then take it off for the next. That's called the ping pong method. Once you have some nice loopy behavior, which means the dog comes back to boop the glass right after you treat them in just a kind of circle. So it goes, dog boops the glass, you mark, reward, they come right back and offer booping the glass. Then you can add your cue. The cue you're going to use could be smoosh or boop or target, it doesn't matter. But what you're going to do is just add that cue the moment before that dog touches the glass to make sure that they get it right. You're gonna click it and reward it. So before we add duration so that you can get those really fun smoosh photos, make sure that you boop that like button and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more step-by-step -step trick dog instruction. And if you have ideas for tricks you'd love to learn, I'd love to hear about them down in the comments below. Now, there's several ways to build duration on this trick. Duration means how long your dog is able to smoosh their face against the glass. So the first and probably easiest one is if your dog already has a good stay or freeze behavior, you can cue your smoosh and then ask them to stay. Boop, stay. Good. Be sure to mark and reward them for one to two seconds of stay and build from there. We want a high rate of reinforcement for this new behavior. Alternatively, you can hold out that click just a tiny bit longer so that you can lengthen the amount of time slowly that the dog puts their nose on the glass. So what that looks like is you're going to cue the smoosh, your dog smooshes its nose against the glass, you hold out just a half a second longer, click and reward, and then slowly build up that time before you click. The third option is to cue that smoosh or boop and then cue it again and only mark and reward on the second try. So what that looks like is you cue your dog to smoosh, they touch the glass, their nose comes off, you cue it again, and you click and reward or mark and reward that second time. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. This is especially awesome for fast dogs or dogs that boop really quickly and take their nose away, like my cattle dog, Jake. They soon figure out that they're only going to get marked and rewarded for that second boop. So what they do is start taking their nose off less and less until there's almost no nose coming off. And then they start just smooshing and waiting for that click. And then we're going to click for that duration behavior. 
The last method is a little beyond the scope of this video, but it's called reverse luring. If you're not familiar with reverse luring and you'd like to learn more, head on over to the Doggy U community at patreon.com slash doggy U, where I do an exclusive video on how to use reverse luring to build duration. So if the first method didn't work for you, don't worry, I have another one to try. So we're gonna start by marking and rewarding any interaction with the glass, similar to how we did it in the first one. One great way to do this is take the glass out from behind your back and mark or yes and reward any time the dog looks at the glass. Then once they start getting closer to investigate, we're gonna click and reward that. All we're doing here is getting them interested in the glass and taking it out from behind your back on each rep can be really helpful in increasing their engagement. Next, you're going to hold a treat behind the glass. Make sure it's close enough yes. to your dog so that they don't boop the nose too hard. What we're going yes. to do here is mark and reward any interaction yes. with trying to get the treat behind the glass. For this, you may wanna use a yes instead of a clicker because your hands are probably gonna be a little bit full. Once they're consistently touching the glass to try to get the cookie behind the glass, we're going to go ahead and fade that lore. What that means is you're going to put up the glass, you're gonna take your pretend cookie out of your pocket so there's no cookie in your hand, yes. and you're gonna put it up to the glass. As soon as the dog comes and tries to touch your hand behind the glass, you're gonna mark and reward. As your dog gets better at touching the glass, you're going to move down to just touching the glass with one finger and then remove your hand altogether and start marking and rewarding for your dog, just smooshing that glass when he's presented with it. Finally, you can use the methods presented in the first option to get duration. Remember when you're training tricks, you're probably not gonna train it all in one session. Keeping your session short, one to three minutes at a time, is a really good idea. Another way that you can time it is take out 10 to 15 treats, and once those treats are gone, you're done with that session for now. You can always do another minute long session later in the day, but keeping your session short will keep your dog engaged. You always wanna leave them wanting more. And if you wanna learn more about different training methods and how you can teach complex tricks to your dog, head on over to join the Doggy U community at patreon.com slash doggyu, where you'll find a ton of exclusive step-by-step -step training videos to help you have more fun with your pup. I do a live Q&A every month where you can get your questions answered and even do a live stream on a special topic every month. This month, we're gonna be working on going back to basics with different positive reinforcement methods, including luring, capturing, shaping, and more. So if you're looking to become a better dog trainer for your dog, head on over to the Doggy U community. I hope to see you there. And if you like this training video, you'll probably like this one too, so be sure to click on it. You all have an awesome day and happy training.